and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter board game review. I'm Callie and today we're looking at Ducks in Tow by First Fish Games. It's designed by Stephanie Kwok and illustrated by Andrew Bosley. It is a game that takes about 30 to 60 minutes to play for two to four players and ages 10 and up. It is sort of a puzzle game where you're trying to get your ducks that you're going to feed and get them back to their favorite locations, take a photo with them and send them on their way, getting combos in order to score the most points. So let's check it out. Here we have a two player setup for ducks and toe. I've left the other additional location tiles over here. You see we have some special location tiles along here and then some special locations where we'll be going to get uh, drop off the ducks along here and those can change out every game or you add more with the three and four player game. We have our handy little meeple and duck carrier tokens here where you'll be placing the ducks as you feed them and lead them around the park. We have the little ducks themselves, little wooden meeple ducks. We have some wooden cubes which we'll be using to feed the ducks to get them to follow us. Our car starting cards here showing what ducks we've kind of already starting with and different objective cards that we'll be going after in order to get those ducks to follow us and drop them off at their preferred locations. This is the butterfly location signaling the butterfly location tile over here. And when you play that, when you get both of the orange and the yellow duck to the butterfly location, take a photo with them, put them down here, matching them up to the other rows you have. This is important for the scoring later in the game and you'll continue adding cards to either side here, trying to get continuous rows of the ducks as well as trying to get these formation cards here which you're going to be able to overlay hopefully, oh no that one didn't work, onto your uh, formation here trying to get all of the ducks filled in in those patterns and that will give you some bonus points listed on the card. On your turn you have four different actions you can do. You can move around from tile to tile. You can um, feed ducks using your cubes that you have in stock and trying to get them to follow you. You can also shake the bag. So we have a bag of feed and a bag of ducks. So you can shake the bag of ducks, see if you get one that you are able to feed and add that to your tile. You can also drop off the ducks. So once you get to the location, let's say it was the, the butterfly location here, that costs an action as well, dropping them off to be dispersed later in the game and come back out into the park. There's also these special tiles here, which also have some special actions where you'll be able to get some, some more resources such as the food and more of the location cards in order to continue to add to your tableau. There's a way to adopt uh, ducks and add them here to fill in some missing gaps even fill in and get some of these formation cards. At the end of your turn, you'll disperse the ducks back out into the park and more will be added each turn, which makes the game go faster over time. The game ends when the players reach, one player reaches a certain number of location cards out in their tableau or all of these formation cards are gone. You'll tally up your points based on the continuous rows of ducks that you have as well as any bonus formation card points and the highest points wins. So that was a very brief overview of Ducks and Toe. It's a very unique puzzle game with a really strong theme. The ducks are so cute and getting them to follow you really works with the components that they have designed. The acrylic tray with the meeple and the duck meeples works really well. We're able to slide it around the tiles and um, it just looks really cute to have the ducks following you. Thematically it works being very friendly towards the animals 
and taking photos of them, leaving footprints, but not taking anything from the park and being very friendly and environmentally aware that way. So very strong theming, strong components. The components I showed you as well are prototypes. So there will be some changes in the final version of the game, but overall very strong and uh, really just love, I love different wooden meeples. They're bright and colorful and really fun to just play around with as well, right? <laughs> But the game has the puzzle aspect to it, which can seem a little complicated at first, a little competitive as you get going, but really still very friendly and easy to pick up. The one thing I liked about some of the streamlined design of the game was the kind of this rule of fours that pops up. You can have up to four food, you can have up to four ducks following you, you can have up to four cards, you have four actions on your turn. So that worked out really well for me, figuring out how am I gonna get those different formation cards. I think those were really the key difference in determining the winner in the games that I played was those getting those formation cards. So it definitely pays off to think strategically that way. And I like that the game encourages that. The art, of course, is beautiful by Andrew Bosley. He's also done games like Everdell and Tapestry. Very beautiful artwork. It's a lighter style this time, sort of more, more, a little more impressionistic and simple, which is really fun. Gets you in the mood for going to the park. Kind of has that nostalgic factor of being with your family and celebrating the outdoors. I hope you enjoyed my review of Ducks in Tow by First Fish Games. Hope you can check it out on Kickstarter. The link will be in the description below as well as please if you like this video you want to see more uh, previews of Kickstarter games please give us a like and subscribe to Unfiltered Gamer. You can also check out our website unfilteredgamer.com where we have a lot more content giveaways going on as well as our Facebook page and where we do a live stream every Wednesday night, 7.30 PST. We also give away some games there and it's just a, a fun time that we have with the group playing games, giving away games, having fun. That's about it. Thank you, Dante, for being on the video as well. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time.